Hello everyone, this is Hasha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we're going to talk about Shadium Network Node Setup. So if you are following my channel, I already made a Shadium Network first beta net node setup complete guide. But unfortunately that first version was crashed. So due to that, it was stopped for a couple of days and they have restarted the Shadium beta net. Now it is version 1.1. So in this video, I'll show you how you can delete your old version and install the fresh version. And if you're new to this Shadium, I'll show you how you can set up the new node of Shadium beta net. So everything will be covered in this video or this video till then before starting the video. If you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comments below. And this video like that is 200 likes. So definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video guys. So guys, if you are new to Shadium Network, I already made a couple of videos about Shadium Network. You can go check out those videos. So now let's right away jump into this new version of node setup, how you can do it. In case if you followed my previous video and you already running a Shadium node, first thing is you have to delete the old version. To delete the old version, all these commands will be in the description below. For delete the old version, you need to run this five commands one by one in your putty software. And once that is done, you can continue watching this video. So now let's begin. So I'll start as a fresh user. So if uh, new users are starting, how can they, they can set up? So to set up this v, uh, node, we need a specific VPS with a four core processor and eight GB RAM. So now let's go and buy some VPS. So we are using PQ hosting uh, here. We'll select that. If you want to register to PQ hosting, my referral link will be in the description below. You can click that link and you can register to this page. And once you're registered, you can come to the products and services and select the virtual private uh, servers. Under that, you have the order option. Just click on order and then you have to select uh, any other country other than the default country. So don't select the default country. Just click on the drop down and select a random country and then just come down here. You can see a four core 8 GB RAM a VPS, which will cost you around $14.27. So you just click on order and then you have to select the operating system as you want to 22.04. So after that, just click on add to cart. So once you click on add to cart, you will go to the payment page. Here you have a special coupon for, for our community members. You just type the promo code as crypto Telugu code will be in the description below. Just click on use promo code. And after that, you will get a 15% flat discount on your VPS purchase. So that will make you $12 as an investment for this node setup. So now just click on pay. And once you click on pay, it will redirect to the payment page. Uh, you can make the payment using cryptocurrency also. I already have loaded uh, funds in this uh, wallet. So I'll just click on pay. So once you make the payment, your VPS will be uh, under process and it will be ready within five to 10 minutes. So you can go to uh, VPS provider. You can see it is in activation phase. After five minutes, you can see it is active. So now you can double click on this. You will see two important details, IP address and password. Just note down them. And now you have to copy this IP address and you need to install putty software in your desktop and just paste it there and click on open then just click on accept and user id will be root in small letter click on enter and password will be from the pq hosting just copy the password right click on putty software to paste it and then click on enter so once you do that your vps will be loaded and now you have to paste these commands one by one so all these commands will be in the description below all you have to do is just copy command one just paste it on putty software and click on enter then second command and one by one you have to do in between if you see anything like this number one two three four five six if it asks you to select an option you just give enter uh, you just give one and enter so now let's paste the second command keep doing that like third command just copy it paste it and then fourth command some commands will take a little time and most of the commands will be running smoothly within seconds so now uh, we are installing the docker after installing the docker just use this docker version command to check check if the docker is installed properly or not then copy and uh, do the next command and then we have the seventh command just copy the seventh command paste it and enter and then again we can see the do docker uh, uh, details and finally you have the ninth command which will install the actual node so this will take some time so first thing it will ask you to details you just click y and enter then it will again ask you to enter the whether do you want a dashboard just click on a type Y in keyboard and enter then it will ask you to set a password for accessing the dashboard you have to type a password and remember the password because we need to use that password while we are logging into the dashboard so now here dashboard password when you are typing it won't be visible but it will be typing so just type it and click on enter so after that last couple of details just click enter 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 without typing anything and it will take the default settings after that it will take around five minutes uh, 10 to 15 minutes time for this complete node setup installation so after that you can see the screen 
so now the node has successfully installed so now we have this 10 11 12 commands to be run so just copy the 10th command right click paste it enter then copy the 11th command then run that command then 12th command just copy it and run it and once all these commands are ready we have to access the dashboard now so now we have set up the node and installed it successfully we have to access the dashboard so that we can connect our metamask wallet and do some staking so just this is the url so all you can do is you can go to your vps just copy the ip address available just come to this link this will be in the description below so instead of local host you just replace that local host with the ip address of your vps then copy the entire url and go to your browser and just click paste that and click on enter so now i'll show some war warnings so just click on advanced click on proceed and now you will be able to see the dashboard page so here you have to enter the password so the password uh, which you have set during the uh, installation of node just type the password and click on connect and now you will be able to access the shadium dashboard so now you can straight away go to maintenance here you can see the start node option if it is showing start node it means your node has not started it after five minutes usually it will uh, change to stop node if not you just click on the start node button it will automatically within five minutes will uh, run your node it will show you a stop node option so now we have to connect a uh, beta net into your metamask so this document link will be in the description below you can go to step 7 and click on this link and here you can click on connect to metamask and just switch to that specific network so after that we have to uh, add uh, see now we can see stop node option is available so which means our node is running successfully so just click on connect wallet so before that you can see my wallet is having zero shm token so let's connect the wallet to the dashboard metamask wallet and now we have to stake 10 tokens to get the tokens you can either get it from this faucet or you can dry, directly head over to the discard channel of this uh, Shadium project in the left side you can see faucet there you can enter forward slash faucet space wallet address and click on enter so once you do that within 10 to 15 minutes you have to receive 15 shm tokens we have to take 10 tokens out of it so our node will be up and running so now again come back to the dashboard just click on connect connect metamask then click on add stake here you can enter 10 and click on stake button so once you click on stake button you will get a uh, metamask pop up just approve that and within couple of seconds your stake will be successful now that's all guys that's how you are uh, set up your complete shadium network now we are successfully set up our node and it is up and running so now that's all guys that's all about today's video about shadium node if you uh, if you like this video click the like button if you're new to this channel subscribe to channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comments below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind